We'll be talking about home ownership. We've been talking about home ownership for a couple of days. Now we want to talk about to somebody who is actually providing the homes to be owned. We've been talking about people who are providing the money for you to buy a home. Now it's about the person who's providing a home, an easy way of owning homes from them. Before we welcome them, City, mm -hmm. the proverb from Ethiopia. Yes. Cow dung cannot be gathered where no cow has been. Cow dung cannot be gathered where no cow has been. Hmm. This is a proverb that <laughs> someone who's been brought up in an, in an urban setting mm. and only sees cows in pictures and in movies will not probably understand. But if you grew up in a rural area where there were cows, oh, you understand this very well. You understand the reason for gathering the cow dung? With, yes, with clarity. And you understand okay. the usefulness. And we're not talking about the, be the beetles here. We're talking about human beings yes. gathering cow dung. Yes. Okay. Not little beetles rolling it into a ball and mm -mm. then rolling it along. Mm -mm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Kenneth Bai is the managing director of Centum Real Estate. When you heard that proverb, you chuckled. Why? I, I put many things into context. Uh -huh. So uh, homes can only be found where developers are building. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> Another one? <laughs> that and uh, the means to buy mm. can only be found at the financial institutions <laughs> all with your savings uh -huh. yeah Kabisa. Kenneth welcome to Kenya's biggest conversation uh, thank you for having me here I think it's my first day on Arrive TV ever 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 <laughs> ever ever there's always a first time for everything yes. yes and this one will make it as painless as possible for you it's just going to be hot <laughs> Thank you. But don't worry. Yeah. You will remember it for a long time to come. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth, what is Centum Real Estate? Uh, Centum Real Estate is uh, an investor and developer of uh, large scale mixed use developments. Uh, we've done some of the notable projects as Two Rivers. Uh, in the last two years, we've handed over 800 homes across East Africa. And we are currently developing 1,700 homes. And uh, we offer employment opportunity to thousands of people across the region. Uh -huh. So, large-scale mixed use. You've talked about 800 homes. What is mixed use, first of all, for people who may not understand what's mixed use? So, mixed use is when you have uh, different elements of uh, real estate. You have residential you have a commercial, you have offices, you have entertainment spaces, you have the utilities, water and power, mm -hmm. all within the same setup. It could be in the same building mm -hmm. or maybe in, a, in, in the same setup of 10, 20 or 30 acres mm -hmm. so that you work in the same complex, you walk home uh, with a balance of money you have, you go for shopping and if need be, you entertain yourself within the same spaces. So it's the same locality? Yes. Sort of like a, a mini town? Yes. Uh, the soft life. <laughs> <laughs> 800 homes that you've yeah. handed over in the last two years. Where? Uh, we've handed over 100 homes in Nairobi. We've handed over 550 homes in uh, Kirifi. We've handed over close to 100 homes in uh, Uganda. And Tebe to be specific. Uh, yeah, even in Uganda. Yes. You also have a mixed use development going on in Uganda. Yes. Okay. So let's start with the Nairobi ones. Where are they? Uh, the Nairobi ones are at two rivers. Mm. Uh, we also have a project in uh, Kasarani. Uh, we've taken a bit of time to study the market. Uh, just maybe some of the facts is 90% uh, of the Nairobi households and these households are 1.5 million uh, based on the census that was done in 2019 are tenants 10% are, are, are guys who own those actual homes mm. so yeah 90% of the people in Nairobi live in rented homes precisely yes which are owned by 10% 
No, no, no. Ten <laughs> percent <laughs> of people who live in Nairobi are living in their own homes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now the 1,700 homes that are still under development are still in the same regions in Nairobi, in uh, Kilifi, and also across the border to you in Uganda. Yes. Nairobi, two locations. Uh, you said two rivers, and in Kasarani, why Kasarani and why two rivers? So we we did extensive market study. That's what we do every day to try and figure out where is the housing gap. Generally, I think in the country and uh, more specific in Nairobi, there is a housing deficit of pent up demand of more than two million homes, and every year there is a demand of two hundred thousand to two hundred and fifty thousand homes. If you look at uh, the the new suburbs where people uh, the workforce stays, if you look at the western part of the Nairobi, Two Rivers, Ruaka is one of the neighborhoods. If you look at the eastern side, uh, Kasarani, uh, USIU, Roisambu area is the other area. So we we then go there and develop uh, for that market segment. The, we develop with the, with the mindset of a tenant. Would the tenant afford this uh, home? Uh, would, they, would they enjoy uh, being in that home? Would the, an investor get a good return out of it? Would a bank fund it? and what amenities are missing. So we want within our development that you have power, you have water, you have a good Instagrammable space, uh, <laughs> you, you, you can conveniently go to work, and you're in close proximity to the amenities, uh, schools, hospitals, and the rest. Mm. So, I mean, obviously there's a commercial aspect, but then you talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, 10% uh, of people still own, uh, only, or, or, you know, on their own homes. On their own homes. It's a really uh, low number. And we've heard financial institutions over the years talk about, well, we'd like to have more people ho as homeowners, whether they are mortgageable or whatever uh, the case. Do you see this as a direct contribution towards that? Because we know that owning a home is a fantastic asset. Uh, so beyond the commercial, is this a way to contribute to that? Uh, yes, this is uh, one of the ways to contribute to home ownership. If you look historically, I think there are just 26,000 mortgages in the country, <laughs> worth about uh, 250 billion. Mm -hmm. uh, from our own studies, if you can qualify for a car loan, you possibly can qualify for a mortgage, mm -hmm. and you can own, own a home. For instance, if, uh, if you take uh, a car loan of 2 million shillings, payable over 60 months, the repayment would be forty or 45,000, depending on the interest rate from the bank. Mm. If you take uh, a mortgage of 4 million shillings, payable over 20 or 25 years, the repayment would be forty to 45,000, uh, uh, depending. And there, there is even a tax relief on the, on the mortgage element. So I think it's the awareness and, 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 and the ability to educate the public that uh, it's possible to own a home uh, through various means, savings, mortgage, and any other mm. uh, source of income. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you talk about development <coughs> center, who do you partner with? Because we've heard of people who buy the land or own the land on which they wish to develop. We've heard of people who do what Centum does, they develop. We've heard of PPPs that uh, governments keep talking of. President Ruto has been talking about uh, something similar. In this equation, where does Centum fit in? Uh, so Centum fits in. First, we've done developments within our own land that we own. Mm. We own land within the most uh, af neighboring, the most affluent suburbs. So that makes the, the locations attractive. We've also done one JV with a landowner in Kasarani. And because... Uh, uh, explain JV, please. So it's a joint venture mm -hmm. where the, we, uh, the landowner makes a contribution of, of his land. Mm -hmm. Centum Real Estate comes in as the financial investor. And because we, ca we are not in a position to acquire land in every location where, where there is market demand, we can then go to that market, find a parcel of land, and, and jointly develop with the, with the homeowner. 
uh, the, uh, the, the, the housing challenge in Nairobi, as we see it, mm -hmm. uh, in Mombasa or in any county mm -hmm. in, in, in Kenya, is the same one that you'll find in Uganda. I believe is the same challenge you'll find in Dar es Salaam and across all the Pan-African uh, cities. Mm -hmm. So what we are building here is a Pan-African business that can, can offer solutions, housing solutions in different uh, markets. Because we've tested with Kirifi, which is a, 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 a county along the Kenyan coast, and we've been able to develop and completely sell out 500 homes. And the demand is uh, growing by the, by the day. So I assume if we go to Nakuru, we go to Kisumu, the, ch the, the business opportunity and the housing need mm. will be the same. When you talk about the market and the similarities of it, and you talk about the developments that you involve yourself in, how would you categorize them if we were to look at it from a purely very loosely economic uh, stratification? Is it middle class? Is it upper middle? Is it lower middle? Where, again, would you say your developments fit in? What market do you actually... Uh, where do you place yourself? Uh, we place ourselves at the affordable market segment uh, to put in terms of affordability. It's uh, homes renting between 20,000 mm -hmm. all the way to 100,000, where we see the depth of the market is a uh, raw middle class and middle class. So 20 to 50,000 shillings. And that would be for context purposes. Uh, Ruaka, Vindigua, Adriva, uh, Nairobi West, and the rest. Mm -hmm. So, where are the bulk of the workforce lives? And that 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 market is so deep. Uh, Centum Real Estate and all the developers combined uh, in the next few years cannot meet the housing gap there. Uh, and it's based on actual factors. One is uh, the, the, the population growth. Mm -hmm. The urbanization. People come to Nairobi to chase the economic opportunity. So, on average, I think there are more than 200,000 people who come to, Na to Nairobi every year to mm. look for that opportunity. Uh, and, and as growth, so you start from campus, you get to a bed sitter, you, you're promoted, you upgrade yourself. So, the demand keeps increasing. Mm. <laughs> it keeps yeah. going up. Yeah. 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 As yeah. your family also grows. Yes. I like it that you're a numbers guy, Kenneth. And um, I want to ask, with the 800 houses that you've sold so far, for example, what percentage do you say are people who bought homes to live in and people who bought homes as an investment yes. to earn an income from? 95% bought those homes as an investment. 5% uh, are the ones who live in it, which gave us a second uh, uh, opportunity. We manage those homes on behalf of our investors we get the tenants, we maintain the spaces so that there is water, the, the gardens are well maintained, mm. and we just pass the rental yield to the investor, which, which answers the first uh, statistics that I shared, mm. that 90% of, uh, of re residents of Nairobi are tenants. Are tenants. Yeah. Again, it goes to raise that question. If you look at the homes that are being constructed, like you've said, just looking at your statistics, 95% bought by people who are buying as investors to become landlords. These are somebody who is probably paying rent somewhere or they own, or is among the 10% that own their own home, that live in our own home. How do we address, what is it that makes people shy away from buying homes to live in? If you compare that, to the number of people who are thinking about home ownership through the longer route. <coughs> I will buy a piece of land, I will construct my own home. So there, there are a number of limitations mm. because for you to develop, <coughs> you need land and the land prices in Nairobi are quite, and, and anywhere in Kenya are quite expensive. Mm. And, 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 and if you need cheaper land, you need to go further away from the, the place of work. Secondly, uh, the ability to get finan fi financing. Uh, normally, it's quite, it's, it's quite a lengthy and tedious process. Mm. Third is for this, uh, anyone desiring to buy a home, even knowing where to, to, to buy from, mm -hmm. 
and, and getting a credible developer. But as I'd earlier said, if let's let's look at um, someone paying forty thousand shillings as rent, highly likely there are forty thousand shillings would be thirty percent of that household income. Uh, most likely, their 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 total monthly income is more than two hundred thousand. So they have they have their rent of forty. They also have a family car, highly likely, and that family car, if if you take maybe it's 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 let's assume it's debt funded. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take a car of two million or two point five million shillings mm -hmm. on the same sixty or seventy two month payment. So they will still be paying forty five thousand uh, for the car on. Now let's go to the mortgage. If they were to get a place or a mortgage of five million, uh, if you do your computations at nine or ten percent over twenty-five years, the mortgage repayment would be forty-five thousand uh, with 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 a uh, three hundred thousand uh, mortgage uh, relief. Mm. So, if this family made a decision to actually own a home, they can. So I see a limitation here. Yes, the number of years. Everything else, all these yeah. other loans that we're talking about, yeah. 60, 72 months, and then you talk about 20 to 24 years, and people start thinking, okay, why am I going to be paying 20 to 25 years loan for ownership of a property? They're thinking that in that 20 to 25 years, I'll have made enough money, I'll have bought a plot, I'll have, you know, I can afford to live here, I will build my own home. After all, am I not seeing homes being built in these affluent neighborhoods? I have a projection that I will be among those people who will be getting there. I'll strike a deal somewhere. Do you experience that when you're talking to people? Yes, and, and, and that is what we've taken on purpose mm. to educate. Let's, let's go through that journey or even work backwards. Yep. Uh, our, it's 24 years. It will take me, say, 20 years. Uh, between now and the day I get enough money to buy and build my own home, I'll still be paying rent. Yep. This rent is 480000 per 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 year. Yep. So in 10 years, if that is when you get a breakthrough, I've paid $4.8 mm -hmm. anyway. That $4.8 million is rent. If I had a mortgage facility, the 4.8 would be partial payments to the home that I would eventually own. Now, given that there is growth and given that maybe means uh, we are optimistic <laughs> yep. will change, you can then uh, even change that home, move to the home that you desire, get some rental income out of it. So I think between developers, financial institutions, uh, government, we can encourage uh, home ownership because mm -hmm. uh, in other countries, Namibia, South Africa, the home ownership is close to 50% uh, in urban areas. In Kenya, it's less than 20%, and in Nairobi, it's less than 10%. So we can encourage that. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, how, go ahead, Ndo. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. What do you think needs to happen? Because I, I look at the different factors that play out when, I mean, you taking on, because it is, it's a huge thing, isn't it? Uh, owning a home, even yeah. starting to think about I could own a home, Kenneth, right? What do you think needs to happen? Certain things that need to balance so that you can now get to that point where you say, I can do this. For people who are looking at eating in a day, the thought of owning a home is the farthest thing from the imagination. But we're here saying that there's a possibility that something like that could happen. However, there are certain things that need to be balanced within, you know, the communities of governance, of policy, etc., etc. And what do you think some of those things are? So there are various uh, actors in this, uh, in, in, in providing this solution. I'll start with the developer space. Mm. Uh, we, sh we, we are developing affordable housing that is affordable to the tenant and affordable to the payment plan. I have seen government is putting in place initiatives that will uh, support uh, home ownership. Mm -hmm. Then the financial institutions are putting in place uh, uh, packages uh, that, 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 are, that enable you to own that home uh, flexibly. Mm. And county governments are also a varying uh, land in various places that, that, that allow you to also own a home. Now, to the question of, uh, of uh, affordability is as the economy expands, mm. as there is growth, as all these economic opportunities open up, then uh, the wealth, 
uh, that is being built uh, across will also enable people to afford because the first point is is there an active economic activity that you're doing mm. that is able to generate income for you let's take a break at 29 minutes after eight kenneth Mbai is here he is an evangelist of what we've been talking about the journey to home ownership he is the md of santam real estate uh, mixed use development company large scale they have uh, very many homes that they are building 1700 homes under construction across in kenya in kenya there is nairobi and kilifi and in uganda there is what it's in kampala in entebbe, in entebbe. Yes. yes in entebbe yeah so a journey to home ownership and you can own any of these homes that uh, santa real estate is basically developing and kenneth is telling us about that we've been talking about this telling you about the ease of getting money to buy a home this is the Situation Room, the only way to start your day. Kenneth Mbai is here with us. He's the Managing Director of Centum Real Estate, a large-scale mixed-use development company. They are building houses. Now, look around you in your office, okay, in Nairobi. Out of every 10 people, out of every 10, the likelihood is only one person lives in their own home. The other nine are rent payers. Now, are you paying rent at between 20,000 shillings to about 100,000 shillings? Um, have you been talking about this for the last 10 years? How, you know, you'll move and you'll upgrade yourself and buy this piece of land somewhere where you'll put up a mansion and move your family there. And the last 10 years, how much have you paid as rent? Can you think about it and put it this way? If you are saving towards a circle today, right? Mm. And uh, you're saying, I'm putting aside money in a circle so that I have enough money to buy a piece of land and also have enough money to put in as a deposit and start, you know, building. Kumwaga mawe ko site. Kujenga nyumba. It means that you already have money that you're putting aside in a circle. Aside from the rent that you're paying. Think about the rent that you're paying. That's what Kenneth is saying. Think about the rent that you're paying today. How about also converting that into an investment mm. and owning a home? Kenneth, pick it up from there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. So I, I think it's a... Uh, it's something that can be done mm. and uh, whether it's centum real estate or many others you can we can we can push that journey to own uh, homes yeah. uh, when you come to us you have a one-stop solution we have the forms from the bank we've negotiated uh, for homes below six million shillings you get unsecured funding from various banks we've negotiated with unsecured so funding explain so it means you can if their house is 4 million shillings, you can get the 4 million shillings, you pay for the home. The home doesn't need to be charged uh, as collateral. Uh -huh. We have that package with uh, various financial institutions. For the homes that are below 10 million shillings, the mortgage financing is 100%, meaning uh, you're not putting any deposit uh, up front. Then for homes that are above 10 million shillings, uh, you get, depending on your profile, 90% uh, uh, financing. Now, for the developments that are under construction, uh, for deposit, we, we give you a 24-month payment plan, meaning you can, you can be paying uh, monthly installments. Mm -hmm. And when your home is ready, we have the financing solution in place uh, for you now to become a homeowner. Uh, should your means change as, as, as life uh, becomes better, this home, given the location, will attract prime premium rent, uh, and that rent could be equivalent to what your mortgage repayment is, and then you can upgrade and move to, uh, to, your, to your own home, mm. uh, because the bulk of the units are apartments. Maybe you want to move to a semi-detached or a own compound mm -hmm. in future. We... we, we, we we have allowed for that. I'd like you to walk us through what you mentioned about uh, the under four million. The four million, Bob. Under, the up to yes, four million. Yes, where, if I heard you right, you say, how exactly does this work? Where somebody, if someone qualifies for it and they're able to pay it, uh, please just walk us through. How exactly does it work? I think, start Kenneth from like, where is this home? Yeah. And then tell us. So, for example, uh, there are complete homes mm. 
ready for occupation mm. in Vipingo. Yes. Uh, a three bedroom unit there is 4.6 million. Okay. So today if you are to buy that home from Centum Real Estate, we'll introduce you to our financial partners mm. because the price is below 6 million shillings. Yes. Uh, the bank will qualify you say for the 4.6 million or the 4 million shillings. The disbursement will be made to send to us, the developer. Mm. Then you'll get your home. This home doesn't need now to be charged as uh, as collateral for your for your for, for their own mm -hmm. because it's unsecured funding up to six million uh, with a seventy two month repayment uh, period. Okay. So for so uh, if you're worried because. Uh, I, I get the, the the social element of owning a home. Mm. It's more of insurance, sure, uh, because of the uncertainty of I may lose my job, my means may change. Uh, I don't want to have it on, on run, mm. uh, and that's why the home ownership in the in the rural areas is sixty one percent, because the bulk of people as in Nairobi, you build your home in in shags. In shags should things change, <laughs> uh, normally they up, don't fall back. Yeah. And normally they don't you're you're here so you're saying even in this urban environment uh, up to six million shillings uh we have a solution for you in partnership with the banks uh for units that are below 10 million shillings uh that you get a hundred percent mortgage financing and and then that allows you to move to the home as soon as you, you know why i ask huh? yeah. how then does the bank secure itself how does the bank mm. indemnify itself and how do you mm. indemnify yourselves i understand mm. The concept of the personal loan. Yes. But even then, personal loans worked for people who are employed. So essentially, there's an understanding with your employer. Yeah. It's that safety net that I'm talking about. When you buy a house, where is that safety net for the financier and for you, who is the developer? So for, for us as the developer, yes. the use of these proceeds will be strictly to pay for the purchase of the home. And comes directly to you. And comes directly to us. Yes. The bank will do the normal due diligence on you. Ah, uh, whether yeah. you're working, whether you're a business where your, person. Where your money is coming yeah, from, etc. They will do their KYC mm. <laughs> background. Mm. And then should you qualify, then then that that is the route. So these and many other interventions then will enhance the pace of uh, home ownership. Okay. Yes. Now, Homeownership in urban areas. Huh? Yeah. You mentioned the high figures of up to, say, 50% of home ownership in countries like Namibia and South Africa. What is it that they did to get that home ownership? Home, <laughs> home ownership. Play with m and it's all right. <laughs> it's not home ownership. No, not, not today. Home ownership. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Home ownership, got uh, it. Okay. <laughs> What's the magic bullet? <laughs> so the the magic bullet is what we are preaching. It's it's mortgage. Yes. It's it that is what has uh, really uh, enhanced that home ownership. Mm. And and I think in the country, as these steps are being taken by K Kenya Mortgage Finance Company, government interventions, the financial institutions, then that 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 will enhance their home ownership. Uh, but outside of that, uh, also Centum Real Estate uh, it has, gives back to the community in a big way. Mm. We educate 300 bright and needy students who would otherwise not have gone to high school across Kenya. They're in various national schools. We upgrade running infrastructure in various schools across Kirifi. So we, we also uh, give back to the community. And as we own homes, we make sure that our kids uh, access better education and they will eventually be back as uh, homeowners and they will upgrade their families too. When you talk about this particular session of evangelism works and people will hear it when, once, maybe twice, maybe thrice. What else do you do? This is a question I like asking. Mm. In ensuring that the so-called future of this country understand some of these concepts meaning the issue of mortgages the issue of banking the issue of finances organizations such as centum do they ever consider talking with the education sector whether it is at the tertiary whether it is at the primary secondary whether it's at 
whatever level, so that this is a message that is preached to someone who has not yet earned, but has the idea implanted so that by the time they think of earning, they already have this in place and they understand the benefits of it. Does Santam think of looking into the future and planning with this group of individuals who are yet to get to that point, so that when they do get there, they are already sufficiently uh, Yes, provided with the knowledge to make the right decisions. Yes, our, our intention is to keep uh, getting this, communicating, educating, talking to customers, talking to potential investors, sustainably and continuously uh, into the future. We also incorporate feedback that we get uh, so that we sustain the, the momentum. It's not a one-off uh, uh, discussion. We want to sustain it uh, uh, moving forward uh, and even borrowing from religion uh, the gospel is preached every day from the rooftop <laughs> <laughs> and there must be a rooftop in order for this gospel to be preached yes <laughs> so you're saying the rooftop be that one under which you live <laughs> yes <laughs> in those days the rooftop was the internet service mm. <laughs> because when you're high up your voice can you carry to a much loud right. yes mm. without interference yeah. mm. so Tell us about now the homes. Let's be specific. If somebody is hearing this and they're thinking, well, I'd like to talk a little bit more with Santam Real Estate to understand how I can then begin my journey towards home ownership. Yes, I'm paying rent. I'm paying 40,000 shillings as rent today. Um, and maybe I can afford a home within the same neighborhood or even a better looking f a house and a, a, a home, a house that will become mine in a few years time. How do we? How does one begin this journey? Um, where can one see the houses that you are selling in, in Nairobi, in Kilifi? How can one get to see them? How can one get to choose? And what's that journey? Uh, so the journey is quite straightforward. You can, if you're in Nairobi, you can come to our office at Two Rivers. If you're in Viping, uh, Kilifi, you can come Two to Two Rivers our... is big, right? Yeah. People get lost at the Two Rivers parking, but <laughs> people lose their vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> So where in two when I can hear two rivers, I will lose happy. <laughs> okay, that's that's clear. The design of it was uh, you get rust so yeah. that uh, you can do more of so shopping. So you do the shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked. <laughs> you know, there's a time so, when I was on dry, sorry, just to distract. Yes, getting out of the parking of two rivers, mm. and I found this, uh, it, it was four people talking to the security guard. <laughs> okay. And they were standing there and they were saying, Did they look distressed? Gari likuwa hapa. Sababu kulikuwa na ikola mkama hii, na lift zilikuwa pale. Now you don't know that there are various lifts at the basement parking of two rivers. And they all look the same. Yes. So the Ascari is asking, what floor and what particular lift lobby? What's the registration of the car? So they had now to go looking here to use the over over, over, over mm -hmm. with all the other scaries. Please look for car registration number this. It was not anywhere near there. Anyway, continue. <laughs> Th those are memorable experiences. <laughs> 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 so it's not the first one you've heard. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, we are on ninth floor of uh, Two River South Tower. Mm. We are closer to the crowd <laughs> at mm -hmm. the top. Uh, we are also in Vipingo, and for text messages, you just text as a uh, home to two two three six five, and uh, we we get back to you uh, as soon as possible. Whether or not you're buying, we uh, whether whether you need to run something from us, we create and share value. Sure. One issue that has also always been an issue when it comes to buying homes has been the whole off plan, you know. Um, development and that kind of idea, Kenneth. So what is the um, Sensum offer here? Completed units that you can then take advantage of or will you then, or do you have an opportunity to be involved in the design of the house that you would own? Uh, so we, th we've, we've created a track record. We started with off brand mm -hmm. uh, and those 800 homes that have been handed over were sold off brand. Mm -hmm. So we've, the market can now trust us that if you buy with Centum Real Estate, we'll build and uh, hand over to you. Uh, but with the beauty with off brand payments, mm. it enables you to start paying uh, monthly installments or quarterly installments based on your cash flow, and you see your home progressing to completion, uh, mm. and then and then you're able to to 
to to to pay in full uh, through the financing arrangement when the house is ready mm -hmm. uh, in terms of w what is in the offering there are some units that are complete ready for occupation the others that are at off plan stage mm -hmm. the market is big now that we've proved our concept that we can build 1900 homes mm -hmm. uh, i want to scale it up because the market is deep and be doing 10000 units it's the same the effort is the same <laughs> <laughs> and but the 1700 10000 yeah, yeah. yeah. but also those numbers the economies of scale work in their favor of course it yeah. they do. yes mm -hmm. so it is good it's good thinking forward mm. planning however you did mention you mentioned cliffy yes county mombasa not too far away malindi not too far away which other counties other than these counties that are related to big business and big enterprise is sent them working in we are looking at all the counties in the country mm. looking at the population and housing demand mm. so we we could look at moving into five more counties in the next few years we've not farmed up where exactly to move to mm, but, but but there is demand there is the demand yeah there is the demand how exactly do you determine this demand i know you mentioned it but how do you determine this demand how do you know that the demand exists uh so the the the, the demand we first study the 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 rental scheme we visit developments and see what are the occupancies like are there are they at 90 are they at 95 what are the amenities racking that we have we design our concept and then we sell it off plan and only when we sell 30 percent is when we begin to uh, moving to construction that that then enables you to gauge the size of demand other than building and hoping they will come you know, I have to yeah. ask so yeah. if that 30 percent is not met then what do you do uh luckily for all the projects that we've done we've met where you don't meet then you 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 the market the project is not viable mm. you you stop and you refund and you refund but that hasn't happened so far not yet okay yeah as a large-scale mixed use it means that you are dealing with a vast piece of land and you're bringing in a population to start living and working and playing there that means you've got to put in a lot of infrastructure so you talk about water you talk about uh, sewerage you talk about roads you talk about power what kind of planning do you have to do for that and how do you then work with the local authorities to make sure for example that your sewer system is connected to the trunk or your water is coming from the municipal source and, and the roads and the power of, of of course also is is nearby and easy for you to to pull into your site uh so so our our studies show we we let's say we have 100 acres uh we determine the number of homes that will be there the water demand per home the power demand per home the possible number of parking base per home and then now you determine the size of the road the amount of water you need uh in all the developments those facilities are not there in Kirifi, there was no water. Mm. We did a seawater desalination plant. So today we produce 3 million liters of water from that desalination plant. Mm. Pa? Yes, it's pa. the largest in the region. 3 million pa? Per day. 3 million liters of water per day. Yes. Okay. Getting water from the ocean. From the ocean. And making it drinkable. Yes. Mm. It's a big factory. <laughs> I have a question now. Yeah. Based on what you've said, and you know, we're looking at private sector <clears throat> and it's very clear that private sector has a big role to play and or rather can play a very big role when it comes to what public government would want to do. The president wants to make sure that there are 200,000 housing units, 250,000 housing units in the country every year. With what you've just said, these are some of the challenges then that are posed, you know, by uh, by government in terms of what they're not able to do all right can we put up the housing units what needs to happen then with the amenities that are necessary to have in terms of water there's no water in some counties but look at what you've been able to do ppps are probably the way to go public private partnerships are the way to go to get some of these things done how are your inroads to linking up with government if so would there be a significant Qu quota of those 250,000 houses that companies such as Centum then would be able to hive off 
Is it something that has come to your mind? I see it working beautifully. Uh, <clears throat> yes, so we're in discussion with government and, uh, and uh, government has been inviting various developers to, to take up these opportunities. But the, the key thing is the, the infrastructure is not there. <clears throat> if there is a way, there is a benefit is passed to the developer mm. who puts up this infrastructure, then the cost reduces and you're able to pass this benefit to the homeowner. Yep. Uh, in two rivers, we put up the roads, we put up the water, we put up a power substation. In Vipingo, we put up a desalination plant. We put up the roads, we put up... You did an entire road exchange. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the road so, junction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so the, uh, and, and that has to be recovered from the, from the, from the, from the unit. From the eventual buyer. So if there is, a, if there is the, the, the benefit that government can provide, then private sector can take up all these opportunities. And, and, and as we develop these new, new housing units, this will become the key requirements. The sewer will be required, pa water, power, road, road network. So I think government will play an enabling role in, in providing that or finding a way how the, 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 there can be an incentive to the developers. Mm. Yeah. Let me bring you back to Nairobi, Kasarani specifically. Um, people who would like maybe to come and view the Kasarani project, do you organize those trips? for people to come and see the projects, come, they are taken around a tour, and then they start a conversation with your staff on ground, where exactly are the Kasarani houses, and then when can people come and see them? So the Kasarani houses are, are, are next to Hako Industries. Uh, <coughs> we, have, we have a show house there. We are open every day, and every weekend we organize uh, bus tours. Uh, and, and, and we pick you from either to Rivers or Nairobi and, and show you the development. It's on eight floor, eight floors. We are currently on sixth floor of construction. And uh, I think the market demand there is greater than we can supply uh, mm. once those units are complete. And people can book now even as the construction is going on? Yes, 70, 75, 76% of the project is sold still while under construction. What? Yeah. And are they below the 4.5 million? The, the studio is 2 million, 2.2 million shillings. Mm. Uh, and one bedroom is at 4.9 million. So they are below the 5 million uh, mark. Okay. Mm. Kenneth, you are doing wonderful work. And I, I think it's important that we come again as you continue construction, as uh, new things emerge, as questions arise as well. Uh, people are asking questions on how they can get to this home ownership. We'll ask you to come back so you can explain a little bit more and guide people towards home ownership. It becomes easier when you're here. It's actually possible for you to come and see a house and transfer your rent mm. to this home, which you then start owning and you own in a much shorter time. Or if you are thinking about an investment, it's possible to actually put it up as an investment and send them real estate will become the will help you to manage. So you're not even thinking, hey, that's a you tenant, who you namely by magic. So they do that for you. Very, very good work that you're doing.